Hello, welcome to the Animal Pulse tutorial. Today, I'll be teaching you on how to use the LT Spy 17. So, to start, click File, New Schematic, or the shortcut is Ctrl N. And then here's the default uh, background color, and that's you don't want the uh, color scheme, so you can change that one here in Tools, click Tools, Color Preferences, and then go to Schematic, and then choose background All right so you can experiment you can uh, adjust the red you can adjust the green one you can adjust the blue one okay so you, uh, you can choose whatever preference that you want so let's say I want uh, pure white so you can just max out everything so you can get a white background or you can also change uh, your wire the color of your wire okay so let's say you want red one can have that one or a black color or a pure white so that's up to you but in my case I'll just use uh, a white background okay I'll just max everything apply and then okay then just click okay and then uh, here's the shortcut icons or the key, uh, quick access so we have here your new schematic uh, to open an existing schematic to save the schematic uh, the control panel and then the running one or the run button to uh, start simulating your schematic or your circuit and then a halt or to pause your uh, this one the simulation and then we have here the zoom and then the zoom back so let's say you want to zoom in the graph can use this one okay and then oh, those are not that important then we have here the cut so let's say you want to delete something you can use the cut icon okay we have here the copy search uh, the print uh, the wire where you can uh, this is your connecting wires and then the ground uh, label net your resistor your capacitor inductor and a diode what else and a component so let's say you cannot find the component that you're looking for in here I uh, need quick access uh, quick access so you can go to component so just click that one and then uh, you will see this uh, tab right and you have the ADC comparators the AC the resistors PNP voltage zener and so on and so forth okay Next one is a move and then drag. So you can use this one to move a certain component. Uh, we also have here the undo and then the redo. All right. And then we have the rotate. Let's say you want to uh, change the position or the implementation of how your compu uh, component looks like. Okay. And then let's say you want to mirror a certain component and then let's say you want to add like, a text and then a spice directive so we'll go over on that one later on now let's create a simple uh, circuit so we'll be needing of course a resistor say two resistors and then of course ground every circuit there's always a ground and if there's a ground there's a voltage source of course so to look for the voltage source just go to the component and then type voltage and then you will see this one and then click ok and then put it right here all right so the next thing the next thing that you want to do is connect now your uh, schematic so you can use this wire all right so let me just change the uh, all right so let me just change the implementation of this one so click this one and then over your uh, cursor and then click rotate okay there you go so now I'm ready to connect my components so you can use this uh, wire button connect 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 
connect, connect. Alright, so there you go, and then the ground. And then let's also put the voltage uh, out in here or V out. Alright, so to do that one, click label net and then type V out. Or you can just simply type voltage output if you want. Output. Alright, so there you go. Or just simply out or V out. So it's just a label, so you can put anything. And then I'll change the port type into output since it's voltage out okay and then click ok then I'll put it right here oh sorry not there so let's delete that one seesaw delete okay so, all right so let's add the voltage uh, output again so label net and then V out and then output and then ok and then I'll place it there and then connect it using a wire then all right so there you go so we're done so the next thing that you want to do is put value or put some value on, on your resistors and then voltage source so to do that one so click escape right now so to do that one hover your cursor into that component let's say into this resistor one and then as the uh, cursor change into a hand like this right click and then this will pop out so just remove that R and then put any values that you want of that resistor so in my case I'll just put 10k and then click ok and then for my R2 let's say I want 5.8k and then click ok and then of course the value of our voltage source so right click also and then say 10 volts then click ok Alright, so we're done. So the next thing that we want to do is simulate this schematic or this circuit. So to do that one, click this running man, or you can go right here, click simulate. So in my case, I'll just go to the quick access and then click the run, uh, the man that is running, okay, running man. And then you will see this one. So just go to transition for now, and then go to stop time. So in this one, it it is just simply asking you how long you want to run or how long you want to simulate your circuit. So in my case, I'll just put here, say 10 millisecond, 10 nanosecond or 10 seconds. It's up to you. But in my case, just 10 millisecond. And then you will see the syntax, run, and then time stop, and then millisecond. So that's the format. So let's click OK. And then this uh, simulation, uh, graph will pop out and then at the same time we have here a trend 10 ms that only means that this will run and then stop for uh 10 millisecond only okay so click run and then hover your cursor okay and then left click so in here we are measuring the input or the voltage input on this uh, node Okay, so as expected, of course, still 10 volts. But how about the V out? So click this one. So as you can see right here, we now have 10, I don't know, 9 point something. So this one is quite confusing. So to remove the others, uh, you can double click the V out to remove the others. So as you can see right here, uh, so there you go. So that one is not correct. So this one is the correct one. So as you can see right here, we have 3.67 volts. So the other one is 10 volts for V in, and then for V out, it's 3.67 volts. All right, so there you go. So that's it for now for this uh, tutorial. So see you next time. Bye-bye.